if I want to work on kind of time picker and date picker, let's see how those yeah, how how those thing works in Android. So if I can just remove these uh, button thing and I'll just go to my low file and see where my time and date pickers are existing. So here it's my date picker and time picker. If I can just simply drag and drop this date picker. So date picker is there and below to that if I can just simply put the time picker. If I can save these and I try to start my Android application again. Okay, so the above one is time pick, uh, date picker. So by default, the system date of my it takes the default date of your system. So system date is mine is showing as correct. That is eight December. I can change the dates from here also. I can change the date. Uh, sorry, months. That is, I if I change want to change the date, I can change it from here. You will see that automatically it will take care of thirty thirty one zero one two all that. I also can change the here directly from this place. Now, if I talk about the time and all, in the time picker you can change the time. So 10, 1, 2, 11, it is a 12 hour time picker widget or control which you can use and it works 59 and again it will become 00. zero. So there is the time picker, date picker you can change the AM PM option accordingly. Now the deal of the point is okay I have the widget but can I fetch the value? How do I know that the user has selected 6 July this 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 etc 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 or how's the time got uh, set this much in the Android? How do I track it? What is there a way to track it? Yes definitely there is a way to track it. You have to create the object of your date picker and time picker way. All these things has to happen in your Java class. All right. So if I say my date picker is listed here, correct? What is the ID? Date picker one. Time picker is listed here. What is the ID? Time picker one. Great. Let's go to our Java file. In the Java file, if I can simply declare the object for or instance for date picker and time picker. So I can say date picker. Let's say DP. Time picker. DP. I definitely want to define them because I want to use their instance and then want to track couple of APIs from these classes r dot id dot date picker one for DP we can do it this way r dot id dot time picker one that's it. Now as I said how do we know, uh, know that what user has uh, selected so a click of a button can be applied there in this case I will show you at the starting itself how do we track it. So can I have something called as if I say system.out.println month is dp. get month. Now let me tell you one thing. Uh, the month and time. The get month will return int value. Also the value of the months are starting from zero. So do not get confused that if it is January it will be one. In Android if it is January you have selected it will be a zero. So to have the logic relevant for our as per our understanding as we can see the January as 1 and December as 12 just add plus 1 to this to track the values correctly. Day is dp dot get day of month then you can select Okay, why add one? Santosh, as I explained that month thing is a, 
starting from 0 to 11 in Android. It is not from 1 to 12. But in general, whenever we talk about uh, these months and all, it comes to our mind as January as 1. So if the user should not get confused, or the development part should happen as per properly, just added 1 to make sure that if it is 0, it will be reflected as 1. So January will be considered as 1 instead of 0 for the relevant logic. That's it, nothing else. And then for the time thing, if I want to get it, so time is, I can put it something as tp dot get alpha, do we have anything called as So these are different methods as like I'm going you can also travel to these that you get current R. Similarly you can have, so you can give it here R is this, minutes or seconds or whatever, tp dot get current minute save it and let's start running it. So if I say run and application, go to my lock cat, clear this stuff. and it's here. So if I say month is 111, took it as the concatenation, okay, it's for, uh, for a separate logic but for this, but as you can see if it is 11, what was the value in the month? December. So month is 11, it's coming like that. Day is, obviously it will take it as a concatenation because I am bringing in the CISO and inside the CISO the plus operator is considered to be the concatenation. If I can put this in this bracket, then run it. We can definitely add a filter here. So month is coming as 12, it's fine now. Day is coming as 8, hour is coming as 10, minutes is coming as 47, the one which is there. So you can track these and accordingly you can play around with it. Now as far as filtration is considered, definitely Santosh, you can create a filter. How do we create a filter? First identify your process in the emulator which is running here. Can we identify our process? Yes, by the package name we can identify. So what is the package name? com.example.layoutsample is our package name for the application. What is the ID for it? 362. So if I create a filter, and if I say by PID, if I give it as 362, you can give it a name as let's say Eureka for the time being. Say OK. You can have this filter it's filtered, the log is filtered. So whenever you change this and run it again, similarly the logs will come. Alright? You can definitely set the timer also. Uh, listeners and all can be applied to this. We'll see it down the line. Uh, from your side you can also look around it that what timer listeners are available, how we do we track it, or you can apply a alarm clock. There's a class alarm manager with the alarm manager, we can track all these timer related funda. We'll see all, all these things, how does it work. Uh, this is about date picker and type picker. 